viral outbreaks are scary. If you're like me and you live in a big city at all, you immediately picture yourself trapped in your tiny apartment, boarding up your windows and doors to prevent zombies from entering. Because clearly most viruses cause people to become at least zombies. <sighs> These are some racist motherfucking zombies. Now, there's a lot of ways to die from diseases. There's old age, bacteria, parasites, malnutrition, uh, getting something from when aliens probed you, talking to Tara Reid. If I get drunk, I'm a happy drunk. But viruses are still weird and special in their own way. Here's five fast facts you probably don't know about them. Viruses are really old. Studies at the molecular level indicate that viri predate, predate everything alive now. That's right, no living thing is older than your cult. I mean, besides Clint Eastwood. Anyway, you may be wondering, how can we even know how old viruses are? What are their viral fossils? No, but viruses, much like computer viruses actually, essentially mess up the code of DNA. They leave marks of themselves in various organisms so we can trace them that way. This is actually kind of similar to when you're really drunk and you leave a bunch of empty beer cans and taco wrappers around your bed. Or actually, it's similar to when all that happens and you get a viral STD. It's actually exactly like that. Viruses are sort of alive, but also mostly not. Viruses have some traits of life, like carrying genetic material, reproducing, and evolving through natural selection. But they lack some key characteristics. Actually, they mainly lack one, and that's cell structure. Well, also, uh, they don't find Ellen DeGeneres delightful, so they're not life. But look, basically a virus is just three things. Genes, protein that covers the genes, and a bunch of fat that surrounds the protein for when the virus is moving between cells. Now, that's hardly something you could call a pet, unless, of course, you're a fish person. Anyway, viruses are incredibly tiny. They can't even be seen typically with an optical microscope, uh, much like Donald Trump's sense of modesty. Humanity has successfully eliminated one human virus. Actually, only two viruses have ever been completely eliminated. Rinderpest, meaning cattle plague, is the first one, and another little disease you've definitely heard of, smallpox. We officially declared smallpox dead in 1979. Still, it wasn't exactly in its third season. Smallpox has been around, at least detectably, since 10,000 BC so a little bit less long than The Simpsons. Now, smallpox killed between 300 and 500 million people in the 1900s alone. If you catch it, you're not necessarily a dead man, though. There's a 70% chance you'll make it out happy and alive, and a 30% chance you don't. Much like watching an M. Night Shyamalan movie, except with better odds. Vaccines have been around a while. Okay, vaccine is an elevated word for it. In 1000 BC, people used to snort smallpox scabs, and this would actually protect them against the disease. For real. There was still a 2% chance you'd die, but if you didn't, you'd be good to go on smallpox for life. Pretty good deal. Shame that people can't do a little bit of cocaine and vaccinate themselves against becoming douchebags. There are a lot of viruses. Physically, a lot. Not only are viruses stupidly rapidly evolving, literally thousands of strains that are resistant to every combination of antiviral compounds evolve every day, but there are a veritable muckload of viruses on Earth. To give you an idea, if you lined up all the viruses end to end, they would stretch 200 million light years into space. That's how much crap there is that wants to kill you. Still, I'm just happy that medicine has evolved from snorting scabs to actual vaccines to fake body parts so people can get laid more. Well, hey, that's five fast facts. Check out some more videos.